Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for this is the day that the Lord has yes, made. Yes. We shall rejoice and be glad yes, in it. Yes, Hallelujah. Once again, we come before you here at New Beginning Family Worship Center with our family here. We're going to start and we just want to thank God for you all um, following us and we want to thank God for the strength that he has given you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We just thank God for who you are yes. in God. Amen. Yes. Amen. We want to open up our service today. First, we give honor to God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We give honor to our, our preachers on the road, Reverend Benson. God bless you. We give honor yeah. to you. Amen. Yeah. We give honor to our uh, chairman, our deacon board, our deacon, my main man, Deacon Goodwin. Yeah. 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 We give honor to yeah. our deacon, uh, Mr. Brisbane back here. Yeah. 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 Give honor to all in their respective places. I just want y'all to know we miss y'all so much. We miss the fellowship, but we'll be back together soon. Amen. If it's God's will. Amen. Amen. We give honor to First Lady. She's here yeah. in the house. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for the Brisbane's opening up their home and allowing us to do yeah. this here. And we just love the fellowship and we love you all, wherever you are in your respective places. Amen. Yes. So we're going to ask that you prepare your heart for worship. Amen. Amen. And as we think about the goodness of God and how good he's been to you. Yes. Amen. He's brought you through the week. Whether it's been a trying week or not, he still brought you through it. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go before him in prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. God, we lift you up, God, for this day, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're giving us another chance, God. God, we thank you because you're able to do all things but fail. Yes. And God, we praise your name today, just like any other day. God, it's just another day's journey, and we're glad. Yes. God, we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to be able to worship, to be able to fellowship. Oh, God, so that we may give you the glory, God, for we don't deserve it. There's nothing that we have done, God, that makes us worthy of this opportunity, God. But because of your grace and mercy, we have another chance, God, and we thank you. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died, but yet rose again, God. And God, we thank you for all of those out there. And as we prepare our hearts for worship, God, we ask that you clean us up on the inside. Forgive us for anything that we, we may have said, done, or even thought about that's contrary to your word. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Redeemer lives on today. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Yes. Our Redeemer lives. He lives in all of us. Amen. 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 We thank God for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am so glad that my Redeemer lives. I don't know about y'all, but I am happy that my Redeemer lives. I'm excited that he lives in me. I'm excited that he lives in you. Amen. Because I am so glad that I don't have to worry about somebody else saving my soul. Amen. <laughs> I don't have to rely on a person or anything else, but I'm so grateful to God yes. that my Redeemer does live. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. There's a word from the Lord on today. Amen. And we'll be coming from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, starting with verse number 24. I'm going to give you just a few verses, amen, and, and then we're going to move out your way, amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew 7, verse 24 through 27, amen. The word of God says from the King James Version, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Yes. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. That's right. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Mm -hmm. The word of God for the people of God. Yes. Thanks be yes. unto God. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we come before you today, God, with, yes, with this message, God, for us all. And God, we pray now, God, that you would encourage our hearts. Help us, God, to be able to understand and give us clarity, God, for whatever it is that you have for us to, to hear on today. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we give you all the glory, honor, and the praise. In yes, your son Lord. Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. 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 From the scriptures of Matthew 7, chapter, verses 24 through 27, comes the topic, built to last. Amen. Built to last. Amen. Oh, my brothers and sisters, many of us have had our experiences, have had our dealings in life where we were introduced to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There has been some times, thank you, there have been some times in our lives where we, the first time we were introduced to him, we may not have heard exactly what the person was trying to say to us. It may have taken a while for some of us, and it may still be taking a while for some of us, but glory be to God that God is a gracious God. Mm -hmm. God shows us and tells us exactly what it is that he has for us to hear. Yes, he My brothers and sisters, we have gone through some things throughout the years. Those of us who have experienced trials and tribulations from our younger years and throughout our teen years, mm -hmm. even throughout some of our young adult years mm -hmm. into our present years. Mm -hmm. But how many of y'all know it was only by the grace of God that we're still oh, right. here? Right. My right. brothers and sisters, I have to let you know that there's a reason why you're still here. That's right. In our text, Jesus Christ had been delivering his famous Sermon on the Mount. And during this portion of the Bible, he took some time to teach the multitudes who followed him. Mm -hmm. And in this time, he started out by teaching them first that blessed are the poor in spirit, mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yes, then he says, ye are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. But if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Mm -hmm. Jesus also tells them that ye are the light of the world. Yes, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Then he says, let your light so shine yes. before all men that they may see your good works yes. 
and glorify God, which is in heaven. Yes. Amen. My brothers and sisters, in that same sermon, Jesus teaches them to love your enemies. Yes. He says, bless those that curse you and do good to them who spitefully use you. All right, all right. Even the ones who try to persecute you. He goes on to tell them, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in therein. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, in that simple saying, Jesus was letting them know it's so easy to fall. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to be followed by somebody on the road to destruction. Right. It's so wide because many people travel that road. Yeah, but how yeah. many of you know that narrow is the road to righteousness? All right. How many of y'all know that slim yeah, is the path yeah. to where you have to get to the yeah. promised land? All right. But I'm so glad that the road to the promised land yeah. is just big enough for us to fit on. Yeah. It's good enough for us to walk in the path that God has provided for us. Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. Then when he finished his sermon, he referred to this Sermon on the Mount with the words of the text. He says, after he preaches all this and after he teaches all this, he then tells them, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, not just hear them, but he says, whoever hear them and do them. He said, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I don't know about you. But if you've ever seen some builders construct a house, they always have to lay what is called the foundation. And my brothers and sisters, before they build anything, that foundation has to endure, it has to strengthen, it has to get harder. Amen, somebody. And the one thing that they use to get the foundation hard is water. Oh, my brothers and sisters, if you know anything about the Bible, Jesus said, I can give you water. I want somebody to get that. The water I give, you shall never thirst. So if you build your foundation with the water that Jesus can give, it's built to last. Come on, somebody. Oh, my brothers and sisters, he's, he's letting them know here. The rain descended. The floods came, the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not. Why? Because it was founded upon a rock. Yes, yes. Oh, my brothers and sisters, see, the meaning of this text is simple. It's real easy. It teaches us that the only way to make sure that what we do is going to work for our souls to have everlasting life is to hear and do the sayings yes. of our Lord and Savior, yes, right. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you a secret. It's easy to hear the word of God. But when you begin to do the word of God, okay, that's when you see the manifestation that God has in your all right, life. All right. Oh, my yeah. brothers and sisters, the devil knew the word. Amen. Amen, somebody. Right. So because you can spit out a few verses, because you can say a couple of things, because you can memorize the 23rd Psalm, yeah, that's good. But he said, I need for you to hear the word and do the word. I wish I had a witness in you. Brothers and sisters, in other words, hearing the word mm -hmm. will get you to it, yeah. but doing the word is what will get you through. Yeah, all right now. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Anything that happens in your life, my yeah. brothers and sisters, the word of God is what sustains us. Mm -hmm. It's what keeps us. Right. It what it's what we must use to right. battle the trials and tribulations of today. Right. The yeah. things that we go through on a daily basis. If you hide that word in your heart. God will be there to strengthen you. When Jesus was attacked by the devil, what did he use? The word. He said, it is written that man should not live by bread alone. It is written that man should not tempt the Lord thy God. Everything that the devil tried to throw at him, every jab, every punch, Jesus came back with the word. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, we must lay a solid foundation. The same foundation our ancestors provided to us. Because many of us know the word from our mamas and our grandmas. Our, our uncles, our aunts. You know, whoever was influential in your life. But straight Bible living, praying at home, 
and in the school, doing the work for the Lord. I believe way back in the day when the believers got together, they decided to serve God no matter what circumstances they were under. It didn't matter what they were going through. Sometimes they had a hard time feeding their, their children, had a hard time finding something to eat. But guess what? They knew where to be on Sunday That's mornings. Right. Amen, Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. They knew what it took. They knew what it took to stand in the days. That's right. They knew that they needed to put God first in their lives. Amen. What happened to the believers who knows that if it had not been for the Lord on that side, I don't know where I would be. What happened to the believers who when it was time to do God's business, they put that first and put everything else aside. What happened to the believers who got up in the morning and prayed and asked God, thank you Lord for this day that you have given to us. What happened to the believers who put God first in their lives? What happened? What happened? What happened? Yes, thank you Lord. Yes, yes. Back in the day they were believers of God and they followed Christian principles. And because of it today, my brothers and sisters, many of us are fruits of their labor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Many of us, it's right. evidence, it's proof that, that, that we were built to last. Mm -hmm. Why we were built to last? Because look at yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old you are, you've been through some storms That's in right. your life. Right. Mm -hmm. But look at how good God is. Yes, is. The storms raised, the billows rolled. Let me tell you something. A lot of stuff went on in our lives, but guess what? We're still here. All right. Amen. 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 The solid foundation that we had that was built on the rock, a rock that is provided for us to build the house upon. That rock is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, he is laid for our foundation and no other foundation can stand the test of time, yes, can weather the storm, yes. can endure the earthquakes in our lives, yet we can still stand strong. Oh, if you would just build your house upon the rock, when friends do you wrong, you'll still be standing. When your enemies try to take you out, you'll still be standing. When the trials and tribulations begin to shake you up a little, you'll still be standing. When the devil himself tries to wreak havoc in your family, you'll still be standing. When the enemy tries to attack your home, you'll still be standing. When the storms of life are and the rain, the floods, and the wind begin to beat upon your house. I want you to know that our hopes are built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Lord, my brothers and sisters, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that my house is built upon the rock. And his name is Jesus Christ. Oh, my brothers and sisters, if you would just build your house on the rock. Stop building our houses on everything else. You go inside people's houses and you can see the glory of God. You can feel the presence of God. It lets you know that this is a house that is built on the rock. So if you go to a room and the room's atmosphere changes, where people have no choice but to say, well, there's something about you. You are different. You are unique. That let people know that your house, your foundation is built on Jesus. Anybody glad that they found Right there. I'm so glad he didn't stay up on that cross. Because the Bible said, 
on the third day, he got up with the power in his hand. Oh, my brothers and sisters, you gotta, you ain't gotta look far to see how good God is. All you gotta do is look throughout your life. Amen, somebody. All you gotta do is look at what you've been through. I know it don't take much for me. I can look back on yesterday and see how the Lord gave me the strength to make it to today. So I don't know about you, but it ain't gotta be nothing big. I know that when I woke up this morning, I was able to open my eyes. When I woke up this morning, I was able to put my feet on the floor. When I woke up this morning, I was able to take a step on my own. When I woke up this morning, I saw my family and they were well. When I woke up this morning, I knew that God is able to do all things but fail. Glory be to God. And the reason why I know is because I'm built to last. I don't care what comes my way. I'm built to last. Point to yourself say I'm built to last. Brothers and sisters, yeah. when the enemy tried to take you out, when he tried to take you out with all kinds of things, uh -huh. drug abuse, alcoholism, sin, temptation, whatever it was, God reached beyond the break and pulled you up out of the mouth of clay. Then he placed you on a rock to stay. And because God did that, you are still here. No matter what came your way, trust and believe, my brothers and sisters, that you are built to last. So right now wherever you are, I need you to celebrate this day. I need you to celebrate this moment. I need you to celebrate this time. Because it had not been for the Lord. Nothing but grace and mercy allowed you to see this day. Somebody say glory! Glory! Oh, yes. Thank you God. Y'all should be shouting and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I lift up my hands in worship. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I know how much of a wreck I've done. Amen, somebody. I ain't the only one. God had to bring me out some stuff. But I'm so glad that that stuff didn't keep me. No matter what it was. I know what the Lord has done for me. Right. How he's brought me out. How he's brought me through this. How he's brought me through that. Amen. Right. How he's made a way mm -hmm. out of no way. And how he's working it all out mm -hmm. for our good. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. good. My brothers and sisters, Thank stand Jesus. strong. Be encouraged. And remember, we're built to last. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 No weapon formed against you gonna prosper. Yeah. That's nice. right. That scripture is important because it lets us know that they're gonna form. Don't be surprised yeah. when you go through those things. Mm -hmm. But you have the victory. Amen. That's right. yeah. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. There may be somebody who don't know God for themselves. Yes, Lord. You may not have that real relationship that you need. And I pray for you on today. I pray that God touches your heart. I pray that the tug that you feel in your heart, that you recognize that that's nothing but God. He wants to enter into your heart. He stands at the door and knocks, waiting for you to come in. For you to open the door so he may come in. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I just... I want to pray for you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, I pray for the ones who have not yet received you. God, I pray for their soul right now. God, I pray that you would soften their hearts. Yeah. Oh, God, even touch the ones who need a renewal right now. God, somebody may have been received you, God. And God, but they're going through right now. They're in a dry period. God, I pray that you would give them the water that you can give. God, the water that only you can provide. God, I pray that you would strengthen them right now, wherever they may be. Encourage their heart, encourage their souls. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray for sickness right now that you may heal, God. God, I pray for those who have lost loved ones and that you would touch them right now. God, I pray for the one who may be praying for a child that has gone astray. 
God, I pray for that parent right now that you would touch their heart. God. Oh, God, let them rely fully upon you, Lord. God, I pray for the sick people that's in the hospital room. God, we pray for the ones who are in the nursing homes, God. And God, I want you to, please, if, if it be your will, that you would stop by the jailhouses on today. God, there are so many men and women, God, who need you on today. God, I pray now, Lord, that you would touch their hearts. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for your churches that open up, God, on your behalf. I thank you for all the preachers and pastors, God, that you would encourage them as well. God, that you would strengthen them, God, all the members, God, who push and press on, God, to, to be able to come to the house of worship or to even listen on broadcast, God, where they are able to worship you, God. God, I thank you, Lord, for our families, wherever they may be. God, we pray for marriages. We pray that you strengthen it right now, God. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for marriages new and old. Oh God, that we would encourage them, God. And God, we pray now, Father, yeah. for our students in these schools. Yes, Lord. God, please, Lord, cover them, God. Allow your angels to touch them. God, help us, God, to encourage them every day. Yes, Lord. Help us to show them love. Show them understanding. Yes, and God, we thank you. We pray for our leaders in this country. Yes. We pray for our leaders on every level. God, we pray for this world, God. We pray for all the anger, the hatred. Oh God, the bickering. We pray for it to cease. And that your peace that passeth all understanding will fall fresh upon all of us. God, let your anointing fall. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for you today. We thank God for our choir singing today. Amen. God bless y'all. We love y'all so much. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for our, oh man, New Beginning Fan Worship Center family. We thank God for y'all. We miss y'all, like I said earlier. And we'll see y'all in a couple more weeks. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Lord's will. But we want to encourage all the saints, the believers today, know that you were built on a solid foundation. Amen. Listen, you have to trust your, the God that's in you. And you got to believe that. If you have to keep saying it, I'm built to last. Every day, if you have to say it every morning, get up in the morning, I'm built to last. Right. Say it again at noon day, I'm built to last. Right. Say it again if you have to in the afternoon, I'm built to last. Right. Say it again in the evening, thank you God I made it through the day because I'm built to last. Mm -hmm. Amen. So encourage yourself, encourage one another. Thank God for y'all. Stay encouraged. God bless you. We love you so much. Peace and blessings to you all.